Okay, so let's sit comfortably. Any comfortable position. And prepare your strap next to you. I hope you have your, your tennis ball. So we will need our tennis ball for this practice. We need our strap, two blocks, pillow, cushion, everything pretty much. <laughs> so let's find that nice, really comfortable position to sit and make sure you're comfortable. I hope my music is not too loud. So let's sit, relax first, settle in. Quiet the mind. Take a moment and scan your body mentally from the crown of the head to your toes. Just take a moment and see how your body is situated. Are you comfortable? Do you feel relaxed? We are not demanding the body to relax. We're going to be very kind to the body. We're going to, in fact, see what the body is telling us. Notice if there is a spot in your body that's already relaxed and is inviting you to focus there. Take a moment and see if your ears are relaxed. If your eyelids are relaxed. The tip of your nose. Notice if your heart, jaw, tongue are all relaxed. And feel that they're already resting. And feel your breath in and out, nice and soft. Don't change it. Just enjoy that breath. We're going to relax a little bit even more. Appreciate the body sensation. With the inhale for count of two, and you're going to exhale for count of four, nice and slow. And just lengthen that exhale and be more grounded, more relaxed. It's a time to appreciate your body, all the signals and the sensation that's telling you. Perhaps the body can give you some rest. Enjoy that. Don't look for it. It's right there. And now you're initiating your parasystematic nervous system. The calm, relaxing, the quiet, the beautiful nervous system. Give you time to observe, not to react. Give you time to feel. So we're going to come slowly, crawling all the way forward and taking a block and place it in front and see if we can feel a little bit of stretch, just tiny bit. So you can just drop the arms down, the shoulders, make this really comfortable. So we're not here to 
go deep down if the body it doesn't like it so we want to be very kind to the body that's when you get the best out of your yin practice so you might put two blocks if you like whatever it takes for you today Try to relax completely by focusing on your breath. Maybe the space between your shoulders and your ears. Maybe the depth of that breath that you're breathing. And love your body, love who you are. And if the body give you permission to go a little bit down more deep, you inhale, lift the head slightly up, and exhale, drop the head, and see if you can just tiny bit go more down. Only if give you permission to do it. You don't have to. Inhale, come all the way up. We're going to go a little bit deep into this. We're going to walk the hands outside the right knee. The top leg, whatever leg that is on top. So my top is the right leg. So if yours is left, then you'll go away from the left knee. So my right leg is on top. I'm going to go to the right side. You can take your block and you can come very slow. And see if you can feel that a stretch in your beautiful side of your body and your hip. Just see if you can relax here. You can use two blocks if you like. And if that is still too hard, it's not doable, just stay with the head down. That's perfectly all right. Everyone is different. inhale slightly lift look in front and see if you can go a tiny bit more down maybe you change the block a little bit maybe stay where you are Thank you. 
that is a beautiful three minutes seated on the side come all the way up relax bend your right knee bend your left slide your legs to release the knees relax comfortably Pausing, let the knee, toes drop, completely rest. Before we do the other side, a little bit of twist. Left hand on your right thigh, right arm back. Turn and look over your right shoulder. So you're really turning very slow. Come back. The same right leg, you take it up, you bend, you drop. We're still working on the same side. You lift your arms gently, softly, inhale. As you bow to leg, you take them outside your left foot. Maybe your left arm, the back of your hands is touching the edge of your left leg. You drop your head down and you feel the opening in your right shoulder and the right side hip. You can play around, you can see what speaks to you. Do you feel that opening in your side, in your waist section, mid sections, in your right arm? And let the head just drop down, relaxing even more. And lift and rise bit by bit. Hope you felt that gentle but beautiful stretch for your side. Release your right leg. Sit comfortably. Just surrender. Feel your shoulders, your leg, feel the flow. And notice if the body is giving you that feel rest. And if that feel rest is available right now. So now we're going to do the other side. We bend the right leg down. We take the left leg on top. We sit comfortably. And you already might notice that the left side, the left hip, if you tight, you might feel it there. Sit there comfortably with spine straight. Inhale deeply. Exhale, come all the way forward. Use the blocks to rest your head. If you find challenging, you can use two blocks. Otherwise, just do whatever feels good for you.
I always like to play something under my head. It just relaxes your cervical spine, your neck. Sometimes we're too tense. That's okay. If there's a cushion, or even if you put your elbows like coming to crocodile and with hands holding the head, that relaxes your neck. You are still working on your hip. You can feel the femur bone, you can feel your hip socket, and you can feel all the muscles around your hip. Find the comfortable position for you. and slowly rise now the left leg is on top so we're going to move to the left side left corner and see how we do now you can prepare the block to rest there arms head whatever you have and then slowly come down and find what down is for you today and relax There should not be any compressions, any sharp pain, but there should be some opening, some tension, and a comfortable tension that you can breathe through it and you can hold it. Notice how this side feels versus the other side without any judging. Just notice. Now inhale, lift the head slightly and see if you can go more diagonal to the left or maybe more lower if the body give you permission to do that or stay where you are if it's already challenging. Try to relax and try to breathe. And let's come all the way up. Relax completely by bringing that left leg up slowly. You might be tense in your knees and then straight your legs, let them rest. Just whatever rest is for you today. Maybe drop the toes. Ah, and just feel that maybe the legs are just resting.
We're going to bend the left knee and bring it up. And we're going to keep the right leg nicely straight, but not tense. To relax the leg. We gently lift the arms up, really nice, relaxed way. We're not tensing. And we slowly hinge from the hip, lowering outside your right leg. The left arm, the back of the arm, hands, touches the edges of your left foot, if you can reach. It could be reaching the side of your leg. And then come down and stretch. If you need to use a block, whatever reason, cushion, you can do it. Whatever works for you today. Last inhale, and slowly come up, all the way up. Release your left leg, and if you have a cushion, you're sitting on the edge of the cushion, really, not on top of it, because you want to relax. Drop the toes, relaxing. So we're going to leave the hip alone, and we're going to start working on our upper body. So we take the strap. And we're going to wrap, wrap one side like that, and the other side you're just holding. And you find enough length that you feel comfortable. You can see, comfortable moving your arms back and forth without really hunching like this, like coming cat and cat. We don't want that. We want a straight spine. We want to work on shoulders, not the spine. So, nicely back, nicely front. So make sure the length of the uh, strap will define that comfortable position. You can straight your legs if you like, or you can cross your legs. It doesn't matter. We were focusing on our shoulders. That's all. The rest of the body can do whatever it wants to do to relax. We stay here, we're doing 12 first, and then we do a little longer after that. You got eight more to go. And you breathe. Four more. Three. Two. One. And you start feeling maybe some tingling. Stay here, relax, keep the strap. If this was already challenging for you, keep the same length. If you want to go tiny bit more, you just go tiny bit more tight on that strap, tiny bit. Because you're going to do different combination. You're going to go three times this way, right? And then you go to the side. So I'm going to go here, to the side. You're lifting the right side, come back, to the left, come back, and again, three times. This way, right? This way, and then back here one, back here two. Okay? You got it. Let's go.
three times. Make it tighter so you can actually feel it. Left. You can play around it and see where you have tension in your shoulder. If you find that side stretches, releasing some tension, creating some opening, then just breathe through it and take your time. Maybe you do it a little slow so you can feel even more the effect. And 30 more seconds. Last 10 seconds, your best. Five, three, two, and one. Put the strap away. Sit comfortably. Relax. Palm facing up. Notice the sensation in your shoulders, in your arms, between the shoulders, your scapula. Just feel that. Relaxing. We're going to come on our back and we're going to go deep into the scapula now. It's beautifully warmed up. We use two tennis balls, put on that shoulder scapula right here, not in your, on your spine, okay? right into your scapula. Two tennis balls, one in each side. So let's find that, find that juicy spot. And let's see how you're doing today. And we're gonna start by doing some hip lift bridge and lower. So we're gonna take the arms up, lift the hip, arms over the head, and then bring the hip down and drop the arms down. Okay, you're doing 16 of those. Inhale, exhale. Move very slow, okay? Make sure you're comfortable. Take all your time. If something is resonating with you, maybe when you're lifting, you can feel that tension. Go slow, enjoy this. Five, four, two, 
the last one. As you drop your head down, hold on both forearms and go side to side. Just touching that, touching the behind the shoulders and just see how you're doing tonight. And now that we kind of massage softening it, let's take the ball from the left side. And if you like, you want to go deep, then you use two balls on the right side. Or you can just use one. And now go ahead, the same thing, holding your forearms and just work with one side, which is your right side. Now find that spot that it's a little bit tender or maybe is tight or there's some popping sound, could be some lactic acid. Place the ball there. Drop the arms down and lift the hip up as if you were coming into bridge, right? And then just place the ball right there. This should feel like acupuncture really because you digging deep into that spot by lifting the hip there is a little bit pressure on that shoulder and hold here three more breaths lifting the hip feeling it feel that side we send more blood there and now we drop the hip to relax we straight only one leg the right leg and we turn toward the right shoulder the right side to press even deeper into the right shoulder. Let's come back, take the two walls and relax. Just straight and straight the arms. And see if you feel the flow. See if the blood is flowing more in one right, right side. If you feel your shoulder is more down, the right hip is more down, the fingers. Just enjoy this moment. And let's go to the other side. So make it nice, just like the right side. So place one or two balls under your left shoulder. And hold in your forearms and start moving. Massaging. Maybe the side is different, that's okay. Thank you. 
You can find that tight spot that's holding the floor. The negative energy, we want to release it and replace it with positive. A nice cooling sensation. And now we're going to do the same thing with it. We lift the hip for bridge and allow the ball to sink deep into that left shoulder. Just a little bit more, you can feel it. Maybe tiny bit of movement, playing around and see if you can actually find those popping sound or maybe the tight spot. There should not be any sharp pain. It should be feeling good. You're releasing tension. Now find that tender spot Drop your hip, straight your left leg, and turn toward the left side. Keep pressing the shoulder, tower the balls, and the balls into your mat. See if you can relax here for a few breaths. There's no contraction, any muscles, just you feeling that ball digging deep into the shoulder. And gently come back. Let's take the balls to the side and rest completely. And just notice if both sides feel the same way. So now we're going to move into our sides, the IT band, and we leave the shoulder alone to heels. So we're going to need our strap and maybe a block, maybe not. So we're coming to banana asana and you've done this in the past. So we're just going to come slowly to the edge of right side in your mat, to the edge. And you take the strap and place it right where the arch in your right foot is. So you are on the right side of your mat and you're placing the strap, the right foot. You slide your left leg slightly to the left side and making sure the hip is down. If that feels okay. Now we take the right leg on top, we hook it up. And we try to keep that right hip down, if possible. And we take the right arm over the hip, and maybe we'll place it on our third eye forehead. We just want to relax our right shoulder. Just put it on your forehead and hold the end of the strap. Drop your left arm down, palm facing up, relax your left shoulder. When you're ready, slightly take just your left arm and we're going to do it like a bow and arrow so we actually with the left arm we hold the center of the strap and you're pushing it in front so make sure your right shoulder is relaxed so you can always drop it over your head and just pay attention to the right side of your body So sometimes we have tendency, you notice that my hip lifted because I was talking, but now I took my hip down because I really want to feel it 
on my right side of my body, not the back, the right side. So your left hand is playing like an arrow and the strap like a bow. And your right leg is facing down, it's not lifting up like that. Let's keep it down. And relax. Sure, your right shoulder is relaxing by placing it over your head. And the tension is on the right side. See if you can really relax here. Perhaps you want to travel through the sensation in your body, in your right side. Maybe dive deep and see how you feel it. Breathe deep. Stay present. Breathe through that stretch, that opening, the tension. Six more This is your last in here. And release your right arm, let go of the strap. Gently, slowly, ooh, you might be sore, but that's okay. Come back, and we're gonna rest. Keep the strap, don't touch anything, just relax completely. Stay with this beautiful feeling, cooling energy in your body. Stay totally relaxed. When you're ready, bend your right knee slowly, gently, take the strap, put it to the side, and bend both knees. You might be still sore, so we're going to massage a little bit the head, just to make sure we're okay, with a few windshield wipers, just side to side. If you feel still sore, that's okay, it's normal, just gentle movement. One more. As you take the knees to the left, drop the knees to the left and just 
allow that right side of your body just slowly to heal to relax to let go of tension you should feel really restful And let's come back before you fall asleep. Come all the way down, straight your legs, relax completely. So for camera purpose, I'm gonna turn to the other side slowly and just see if we can do it here. And the same thing, I'm gonna work on our, on my Let's start. You can stay where you are. So you're going to use the left leg now. We're going to take the strap, put it under the left foot. Keep the hip down. Walk your right leg all the way to the right side, slowly. Then the left leg follow. And the left arm hold on the strap. And the right arm push against the strap like an arrow to feel the stretch in your left side of your body. And if your hip lift a little bit, that's okay. As far as you're feeling the stretch in your left side, that's okay. Make sure you're comfortable and your leg is down, it's not lifting all the way up. Again, see if you can leave your left arm over your forehead. You want to relax your left shoulder. Just play around. Make sure you're only working to build tension in your left side, your IT band, your waistline, your torso. But the shoulders are relaxed. Five more breaths. And release your arms. Oh, very slowly come back. You might feel like tension. 
And slowly, slowly, slowly. And straight the leg and rest completely. Slightly bend your left knee and bring the strap, take the strap away, put to the side and keep resting. So. Feel rest. Bend both knees to the chest. Place your hands on your shin. Relax just a little bit more. Come to happy baby. Maybe you hold on your calf if you feel like you can reach your feet, or maybe hold the outside. Keep your tailbone down and Keep your chin toward the chest and press the knees toward your armpit. Relax completely. Two in here. Then release your hands, keep the knees bended, and take the knees gently side to side, just massaging your back, your head. And move whatever way you like to move, whatever you feel like. Maybe you're circling, maybe you're just going side to side. Just massage that head back if there's anything tight. Let's enjoy this. Two more. Last one. Then it comes slightly to figure four, so we're placing the right ankle over the left knee. No hands, and you just pressing against that right ankle. You feel that right hip. It should feel good. Straight to your left leg all the way up, and maybe flex slightly your foot and hold on that left leg if you can reach. And bring it toward your chest, just slowly to create some resistance in your right side. Mm -hmm. 
Beautiful. Release. Bend the knee. Drop your left foot down. Wrap your right leg on top. Keep both shoulders down. Drop both knees to the right. Keep your chest facing up. Put your left hand on your right thigh. Just add a little more pressure, more resistance. And look over your right shoulder. Keep both shoulders down. Release. Come back, rest, straight your leg. Feel the flow, feel the flow, feel the blood flowing. Just enjoy this moment. Let's do the other side. Bend your right knee and place your left ankle on top of right knee. Lift your right leg up, figure four, and notice the sensation in your left side hip. Try to relax. Straight your right leg and hold on your calf anywhere you can reach. Bring the leg toward the chest. And notice that stretch in your head. Relax here. Don't tense the shoulders. Don't tense any part of your body. Just bringing the leg close is good enough. Gently release your right leg. Wrap your left leg on top like you're crossing your leg. And then gently drop both knees to the right side. Having your left shoulder down. And have the right hand holding the left thigh. Adding a little bit more resistance to stretch. Just a little bit more. And come back, gently release both legs and completely rest. Turn to your side and come up. So we're going to work a little bit in our adductor here. Flying dragons and we're going to hold, use the, the blocks or maybe even the cushion. 
can do whatever you feel like. So make sure that, first of all, you can feel the opening right here. And it's not your back. So everyone is different. Even if your leg is this close, this is good enough. As far, so you're gonna hinge a little bit from hip come forward, almost like you're dropping down to feel that. The same thing we do when we do frog pose, we kind of come a little forward to feel it. If you sit back, you're feeling your hamstring. If you come forward, you can feel that, okay? Now we're gonna just come slowly down. I'm gonna make sure you can see. I'm hinging from my hip, so the hip is tilted, so you can feel that nicely opening. Now you come to where your flexibility is, based on your capacity, you come down, and maybe you rest here. And find that comfortable, find that juicy spot for you. Yeah, whatever it takes. And let's come all the way up to relax. And it's perfectly all right to bring both knee bend at 90, 90, one in front, one back. And sit comfortable. Just one knee bend it, and the other knee is bend it back. And turn and face the front knee. And take your hands outside the right knee. Straight your left arm and drop your head on your left arm. So a little bit stretch and torso. And relax. And gently come all the way up. Nicely relax. Take your right arm over the head. Left arm down. Stretch the right side. And come back. Let's change legs. We're going to bring the left knee in front. Bend it. Right knee back. So I'm going to turn the other side so you can see. Again, we're going away from the left knee. Straight your right arm and drop your head on your right arm.
And gently come up again. Just a little bit of stretch. Left arm over the head. Right arm where your right ankle is. And stretch. And relax. Let's turn and find a comfortable position to rest into our final pose, Shabasana. So you can come to any pose that you like, that you can really relax. Now you can cover yourself if you like, just to keep warm and see whatever is accessible to you and if it makes you comfortable, use it. Relax completely. Experience the depth of relaxation. The body offering to you a gift of rest, peace and relaxation. Dive deep into that rest. Dive deep into that healing. The healing that bring you peace, comfort, feeling your beautiful well-being. Being grateful for this body that continuously give a sensation of joy, happiness here. Turn to any side that you feel comfortable. Stay there for a few breaths. When you're ready, come all the way up, seated with spine straight, face relaxed. Feeling the flow, feeling the rest. Perhaps 
your mind is more quiet, your breath is more peaceful, or maybe you're concentrating more on your sensation in your body. Perhaps you bring more gratitude and feeling grateful for what body is offering you, the rest, peace and comfort. Bring your hands in prayer. Bow to your own beautiful energy. May you always feel that flow and feel rest. Namaste.